everybody, I am Husky Light, thanks for stopping by. Right, you've got a totally different intro than the uh, the fire in the water signs that I did yesterday because like a numpty I've managed to delete my intro so I'm starting again. Um, this um, is going to be, um, I've split it up into earth, fire, air and water um, and this is about your mineral salts. Western Western doctors don't teach it, don't know this sort of thing, don't learn this sort of thing. It's not included in Western medicine. Um, and it's really, really important and it would help so many people. Um, each astrological sign is connected to a part of the body and that part of the body or parts of the body, depending on which sign you have, all relate to a certain mineral salt. The mineral salt that is connected to your sun sign is really important for you, for your health, for optimum health. Um, and so I'm gonna go through this in this series of videos for you. Um, it governs governs that part of the body. Uh, you will be full of energy. A lot of the um, diseases and or afflictions that you are prone to as a certain sun sign, because we all, whichever part of the body it relates to, we will have certain afflictions and that. So I'll go through those as well um, so you can get an idea of it. The mineral salts that I mention for each sign are found in certain foods. So I'll go through the foods with you. You can also find these in capsule or tablet form. And if you go onto Amazon or if you go into a health shop or look on Google, you can take it in that form as well. But it's very, very important for our general well-being and for our health long term as well. Also, while I'm going through all this, I might as well throw in a little bit about your personality, your sun sign personality, which is general. So there will be things in there that may not apply or, or you'll be, really resonate with. Um, I'll mention what your gemstone is or your crystal for your particular sun sign um, and your colour and which house rules your sun sign or which or where your sun sign is in which house as well because that's numerology comes into it as well and is very important and the last thing to say before i forget i've just had to start recording again um your sun sign is time stamped and written below okay so that it's easy to find it so you can look it up okay namaste bye <laughs> hi gemini let's start with you um, your I am affirmation for a start is I think because you are extremely good thinkers, you're very intelligent and you're very, very quick witted as Gemini's. Um, Gemini corresponds to the third house, which is all about relatives. Uh, it deals with relatives, communication, short journeys, writing and education as well. Because Gemini's are governed by the planet Mercury, you are really good communicators, you're very intellectual, you're great debaters. Because you are such brilliant thinkers and love to do more than one thing at a time, you're very, very good at multitasking as well. Um, sometimes it can be difficult for you to concentrate on one thing for too long at a time. Sometimes on the negative side, because we all have good and bad within us, you can be quite sharp-tongued when you want to be. Um, you can be a little bit inconsiderate and a little bit selfish as well, thinking on, only of your own agenda or your own desires. Um, you can also be a little bit superficial with knowledge um, and displaying it only for show. Gemini, you are an air sign. You are masculine, which is active, and you are a mutable sign as well, which means that Gemini is very spontaneous and very adaptable as well. As Gemini, you rule the nervous system, the shoulders, the arms, the lungs, and the blood system as well. So you are prone to diseases of the nervous um, side of things, nervous disorders, blood disorders, which can also manifest as skin disorders. So you can have things like dry skin, dermatitis, eczema, psoriasis, acne. You can also have lung problems as well. Things like pneumonia, asthma, bronchitis, you can be prone to headaches as well, uh, a little bit like Aries, really, um, because Aries as well um, has nervous disorders. You can also have, uh, that, that runs with you, insomnia, nervous exhaustion, 
uh, pleurisy, tuberculosis. Change is essential to Gemini for recuperation and the best environment for healing um, is going into new surroundings, getting out into nature, getting away from your cares and your worries of the world. The best therapies are breathing exercises, meditations and long walks and getting enough sleep as well is really important for you. Your mineral soul is potassium chloride. This has a strong action as a nerve stabilizer within your body and it aids in the health of blood protein and lung mucous membrane. Foods that are going to help you with this are beans, asparagus, silver beet, carrots, cauliflower, sweet corn, celery, apricots, peaches, plums and pineapples as well. Any of these foods and I'm sure there is more um, that, are in, that are included as well in potassium chloride. Your best colour to wear or to decorate the house with or just to add, you know, cushions and things like that is pale yellow, not deep yellow or dark yellow, but a really pale pastel-y yellow. And your gem or your crystal is the citrine stone. Because you're in the third house, then obviously your number is three and the vibrations and the energies of number three come with optimism and joy, inspiration, creativity. Let me go through the negative ones first, actually, <laughs> and then go back to the positives. Sometimes uh, you can have indifference, a lack of stamina and concentration, um, certain mood swings as well, and quite a wide range of, you know, feeling either very high or very low. Back to the positive ones. You are brilliant in social um, circles, brilliant with other people. You have good taste, imagination, very intelligent, as mentioned before, very friendly, kind, compassionate. You have a love of art, humor, uh, lots of energy, expansion, and the principles of increase, spontaneity, very broad-minded thinking, encouragement, assistance, talent, skills, culture, um, a fun of love and pleasure, freedom-seeking, wanting adventure, <clears throat> being brave, non-confrontational, um, you have a great sensitivity, self-expression, and you're wonderful with your psychic abilities as well, or there is a great potential there for psychic abilities. So, Gemini, I hope this helps you. Um, I hope very much that the um, mineral salt helps you on your way to optimum health. Bye for now. Hi Libra, you're up next. Um, I'm a Libra too. So let's get into a little bit of our personalities. Um, let's go through the bad stuff and the good stuff as well. Okay, first of all, our I am statement, obviously, is I balance, which makes us great mediators or decision makers. Libras usually are people who love peace and harmony. We're usually kind and considerate people. We love romance. We love marriage, partnerships, loyalty. Um, Libras are very good. They dress very well, um, have elegance. We're usually conservative, refined. We like beautiful things. We like arts. We like luxuries around us. Libras are usually tactful, honest, open-minded. We love justice. Um, we love finding that balance and knowing that things come out the way which is just and fair very alert and intelligent, have impeccable taste, um, and probably one of the most well-liked of all signs um, because we make best friends, we get on with other people, uh, we're very easygoing in that way. Um, we're very loyal and faithful, especially in relationships. Um, we do possess many attributes that Taurus do as well, um, that being our astrological cousin and ruled by the same planet, which is Venus. Um, so again, as Tauruses, Libras love possessions and we love luxuries. On the bad side of things, because we all have our good and our bad points, Libras can be deceitful. Sometimes they can lie. We can be very vain at times, frivolous and superficial um, and very materialistic as well, unless you are awake and you've moved away from that. Um, Libra corresponds with the seventh house, which corresponds to marriage. So it's everything to deal to do with marriage and divorce, the law, partnerships, alliances. No sign in the zodiac requires 
more romance and marriage like a Libra. We It seems that a Libra always has to be or always wants to be in a relationship. Um, they great make great lawyers, great judges, um, and they're very discerning as well. Because we're ruled by Venus, which is the planet of love, again, we love romance, intimacy, pleasure, harmony and balance. We can go a little bit over the top sometimes and eat too much food and drink too well, getting into the luxuries of life. But we love arts, we love beautiful possessions um, and we admire the human body as well. To us, it is a work of art. Libra is an air sign, obviously. We are masculine and it's a cardinal sign. As Libras, we govern the lower part of the body. We govern the kidneys, the black bladder, the lower back. Um, we also cover um, the fallopian tubes, reproductive organs and ears, which are a little bit higher up. So diseases and afflictions that we get or can get because of this, we're very prone to things like urinary tract infections, which are water infections, kidney and bladder stones, kidney failure, bladder infections, water retention, which is edemas, incontinence, lower back aches and pain and sprains and lumbago in the bottom of our backs. We are temper we need to temper our eating and our drinking um, because this throws strain on our kidneys and on our endocrine system. Um, so when we overdo it with gourmet foods or stuff that we really like, we're put under stress. Um, and also the hormonal balance can be affected. Overindulgence in food gives kidney trouble mainly and the skin can also be affected through impure blood. Um, so as Librans, we should be drinking plenty of water. Sometimes we can have a lack of muscle and nerve tone and if we get exhausted, uh, then our Libra balance is very much disturbed. The mineral salt that we need um, for optimum health is sodium phosphate and it has very much to do with the body's balance. It's particularly involved with the acid and alkali balance um, and the charge balance maintain, maintained by the kidneys. So it's all about us keeping in balance, having that perfect acid alkali balance within our bodies. <clears throat> so it's sodium phosphate that we need to go for. Now, foods that are good, carrots, asparagus, silver beets, corn, rice, figs, apples, strawberries, peaches, almonds, and raisins. And like I said before, you can get it in capsule or tablet form as well and take it as a supplement every day. Our best colors are actually pastel colors, but particularly rose color or aqua color. So, or a pale, very pale pink color. And our gemstone or our crystal is the turquoise stone, which is there in the picture, and also diamonds. We've actually got two stones. And finally, as we are in the seventh house, then our number is number seven. And the energies and the vibrations that go with number seven, that resonate with it, is faith and spirituality, spiritual awakening. I can testify to that one very much an awareness of things, spiritual enlightenment, spiritual acceptance, development. It's quite a miracle number, number seven. Um, we are very interested in esoteric, inner cells, deep contemplation, introspection. We can be quite eccentric at times. Thoughtfulness, we're very understanding of others, natural healer and healing, secrets, myth, rituals, peace, emotions, inner strength, endurance, perseverance, persistence of purpose, an ability to bear hardships. We're quite quick-witted. Sometimes we can be solitary, um, long-sighted, non-conformist, very independent and individualism. Manifesting and manifestation, we are co-creators in time and space. We have good fortune, we have mental analysis, philosophy, technicality, scientific research, science, alchemy, Whew, let's go through some of the negatives, shall we? <laughs> uh, the vibrations of number seven are sometimes we can be a little bit morbid, a little bit pessimistic. Some of us can su suffer or have suffered from depression in the past. We can be hypercritical, 
codependency, stagnation, lack of persistence, narrow-mindedness, arguments, being argumentative, resenting and being resentful, self-righteous, unwilling or unable to share ideas and compromise. We must be in a really bad mood to do that. Um, and on the lighter side, again, we have the ability to set limits, completion, refinement, perfection, chastity, dignity. So I hope that this helps you out, Libra, and I hope this gets you on the road with your mineral salt to optimum health. Okay, bye. Hi, Aquarius. Let's do all about you. Let's start off with sort of your, your traits and your personality a little bit. Um, which is which is pretty general for Aquarians, but some of it might resonate with you. First of all, your I am statement is I know, because Aquarians are intrigued by knowledge always, including esoteric and metaphysical knowledge. You are always seeking out the occult, new age philosophy. Aquarians love to learn about all sorts of things. This is one of their greatest attributes. Aquarians are honest and forthright. You have very high self, set yourself high standards. You're reliable, tolerant, kind and considerate, helpful and always willing to help another person. You're very individualistic, solitude seeking and withdrawn, independent, uh, freedom loving, freedom seeking, community minded, humanitarian, service orientated, giving, impartial and you get along great with other people as well. Um, if we go into a slightly more negative side, because we all have negatives and positives, sometimes you can be too much of a dreamer, a little bit unrealistic, impractical at times, unconventional, unconventional and eccentric. Um, sometimes you can lose touch with reality. You can be quite fanatical in views and can be destructive and negative in criticizing somebody else. Aquarius corresponds to the 11th house which corresponds with the friend's house. So it deals with friendship, social life, hopes and wishes. Aquarius always has a lot of friends, but they also love to be by themselves much of the time. They become very active and involved in social change for the good of society. As an Aquarian, you are governed by two planets, Saturn and Uranus. Saturn deals with pessimism, obstacles, delay, hard work, research and lasting rewards after the hard work has been put in. Uranus deals with fashion, electricity, revolution, independence, freedom, sudden changes and modern science. Therefore, Aquarians are society's revolutionaries. They are eccentrics, politi political agitators, new age seekers, awakened ones, um, and we are now in the age of Aquarius as well. The Saturn influence can also make Aquarius is quite pessimistic, um, but also puts a lots of challenges in their life before them. Aquarius is an air sign, so you are masculine, active, and it is a fixed sign. As an Aquarius, you rule the, uh, the legs, the lower part of the legs, the ankles, and the circulatory system, which is very, very hard to say, actually. <laughs> uh, you also rule the wrists as well. So things that afflict you, diseases that you can be prone to as well. Um, definitely leg problems, um, stiffness, broken legs, torn ligaments, pulled hamstrings, sprained ankles, edemas, which is swelling or retention of water. Achilles tendons, high blood pressure, poor circulation as well. Aquarius is liable to um, have nervous and energy disorganization. This is caused through worry, anxiety, nervous stress. Um, you probably have illness often, but there's not a lot of symptoms as well sometimes. Um, you need to have acupuncture, homeopathy, spiritual healing, energy balancing in order to have this circuit, circulatory system work at its best for you as well. You can also be affected by varicose veins, cold hands and feet, cramping of the calves, calves that's quite a common disorder, um, constriction of the arteries of the hands, 
sometimes epilepsy and complete circulatory failure. Okay, your mineral salt that you need is sodium chloride. Okay, and often many Aquarians, just out of interest, can be addicted to salt, which can cause fluid retention and blood pressure problems. So try and cut your salt down as much as possible in your diet to no more than about a gram a day. So sodium chloride, good foods that contain sodium chloride for you are any sort of seafood or fish, meat, cabbage, corn, spinach, asparagus, celery, radishes, lentils, strawberries, apples, figs, almonds, and sesame seeds. In regards to your color and your crystal, um, your color is electric blue. If you can get some of that in your home, in decorations or accessories, or wear electric blue, that will make you feel fantastic. And your gemstone is white zircon. And being in the 11th house, your number and your vibration of your number is 11 and it can also relate to the number two and the vibrations of this are balance and harmony adaptability diplomas diplomacy diplomacy that'll be the word charm cooperation consideration friendliness uh, love understanding personal will you are always the peacemaker you are very general gentle kind you love arts ambition sensitivity placid just and justice, selflessness, sociability, support, attention to detail, um, negatively, because obviously we have the negative as well. Sometimes there is um, indifference, the ability to, the inability to take responsibility, fearfulness, pessimism, dependency, indecisiveness, hesitation, lack of balance, instability, lack of consideration, unemotional and unloving. And then back to the positives for the last bit. Flexibility, grace, devotion, mediation, partnerships and relationships, encouragement, happiness, musical rhythm as well. You are very good dancers. Faith and trust and serving and living your divine purpose and soul mission. Okay. Namaste. I hope the mineral salts information leads you on the road to optimum health.